Right. Feedback, please. Right. I, I'm I'm one for uh, minor details that can often do my head in. So I like these Whit Whitner metronomes. I love a metronome that moves and swings. Right. If you if you're into music. Uh, uh, music theory practice instruments timing and all that sort of thing you'll you'll appreciate what i'm on about right but i'm 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 one for fine details in in the making and the working of things and when i find something that slows me down something that just gets in the way uh it tends to sort of do my head in so can you give me some feedback so i would like to know what what sort of metronome you use do you have a mechanic mechanical metronome which doesn't do this so look see this yeah right i bought this used right this was my first so i didn't really know what i was looking for can you see how the, the uh the numbers are scratched off that's not that so that came like that so i can i can i can see what i'm doing um when I put my glasses on, I can find the numbers. But a, a problem I find with these witness, right, is what you need to do. All right, it might just be these, right, so this one here is a, a junior, right? It might just be with these sort of junior type things. Now, if you know anything about these things, they can be quite expensive. Now, if that's up there, if I wanna if I want to put that behind there, it's troublesome with that weight there. So that's why the the person that had it before me found themselves scratching all these numbers off. Right? So then you've got to go like that, right? I'm trying to do it with one hand. Put that behind there. So then every time you wanna set it to 60 BPM or something, you've then got Get your glasses on and find the number. All right, well, that one's scratched off. So there's your sort of deficit. So what I'm saying is that's kind of fiddly, okay? Right, so every time you want to set it 60 BPM. So this one here, this one here is a piccolo, right? Now, let's say you've always got it set, the same as the junior. Let's say you've always got it set at 60 BPM, then that's fine. But this is similar, right there. See those two screws, right? For a start, they get in the way. See that? It's a bad design, man. But maybe it's just with these type of junior things. So look, there, if it's there, I can't undo it. So therefore, I've always got to do this push it out and then push it up again and again look at these numbers actually like on here because the camera is kind of zooming in I'm, uh, you, it's quite small oh widow look at the numbers at the top now they are very small you're, you're talking about a millimeter in between each number at the top there so again you've got the screws which get in the way i'm tempted to take a screw out um and in order to move it you've got to push the weight down then move it and then push the weight back up yeah uh, but this doesn't have the potential to scratch it because of this plastic thing it doesn't have the potential to scratch the numbers off um this is quite again i got this one used when you wind it up it doesn't tick like these other ones they they have quite a strong tick so I don't know whether this was slightly damaged or something. It winds. It winds fine. It works fine. When it's been going for about two, three minutes, it sort of goes doing. <laughs> sort of thing, right? But maybe that's because someone's messed around with it. I don't know. But it works fine, right? These, the Junior and this Piccolo, right, have a habit of being nice and loud. they got big, full plastic bodies they're very loud. See this thing here now. I think I made a video about this before. I don't know. This is now. I haven't got the case on me. Uh, but I've got another video about it. It's, it's sort of the. Mini or super mini. This again is nice. Um, 
if you add the weight well again you gotta take it out then then push it up where you want it I'm trying to do it with one hand then push it out where you want it and then tick and if it's on 60 you can't then therefore put it away because see the screw there that's the sort of thing that just does my head in yeah it's, it's a personal choice one of my questions to anybody out there is if you know these uh big bigger triangle metronomes are they like this too or are they a bit more freer um so any thoughts on metronomes what you use um uh, especially if you have a, a mechanical one which doesn't have these sort of why have i got free i enjoy them i i got them used off ebay i enjoy the hunt i enjoy using them uh, i like to have one in different rooms um yeah, i enjoy them so yeah let us know what you use and uh yeah i hope this might help also definitely these two here have a, a a very loud when i say very loud yeah this one here once you start playing your instrument you can't hear it these here resonate they have a good good beat to them all of them are very visible they're very reliable um i think that's why i've latched on to whitner apart from the fact that i found them quite cheap stick in hand so i hope that's helped anybody let us know your thoughts what you use